Good morning guys. This morning we want to do a procedure we call glass coma scale. Or some people will write it up for you to say neurological assessment. So if you check through the the procedures that we've done in the past, these are uh, where it was explained about uh, how to plot on the glass coma scale chart. So you can go back there and see through my videos. There's somewhere where we have explained. So now I want to do the actual procedure to see just the three parameters that you should be able to plot and how you should plot them in less than five minutes. So it's a quick procedure of which I'm going to, to do it as you practice. Okay, so how it starts, it starts like this. So the patient, I know, um, according to the scenario, is that he was involved in an accident. So the scenario is here. The scenario is saying that my aged 50, okay, my aged 50 is involved in an RTA and has been admitted to ICU, okay, and her file number is 0125 stroke 23. Date of admission is uh, 1st July 2023. Then the task is perform a neurological assessment and record your findings on the glass of muscle chart. Five minutes, that's the duration for the um, task. Okay, so what you're going to do now is that you're going to, since you've washed hands, you're going to go to the patient first, okay, and obviously greet the patient, okay. The patient won't respond maybe because you don't know the glass of coma score and you don't know the status. Okay, so good morning, um, Mr. Maya. I've been assigned to do a neurological assessment on you or to just assess how you are. So, may I please go ahead? Is there anything I can do for you before I begin? Okay, so let me check where, where you're sleeping. Okay, okay, it's fine. So, where Mr. Maya is sleeping, it's okay, there's nothing to change. So what you're supposed to do for you to just gain marks before you start using the, the scale is for you to first of all see the name is Maya. So when it says Maya, you're supposed to write Maya. Let me use red pen. You write Maya. Here where it says name, you write Maya. So this is a mark already. They'll mark you. The examiner will mark you for, for writing Maya. Where it says record number. You check the record number which is 0125 so 0125 stroke 23 so meaning that even for this the examiner will give you a mark then what says debt you've been given debt so we're going to say 010723 so even that the examiner will give you a mark even for time to just say just give any time because you will not have a wristwatch let's say 11 hours Okay, this is 11 hours, you are, you are plotting this, okay. Oh, this is the time you are recording all this on. This is the one you have just opened it up for at 11 hours. Now, looking back at the scenario, there is also age, okay. So, I'm going to put somewhere where it says age. Just, just put there, age 50 years, okay. So, when you put that, even that counts for the max. So, age, then there was name. So when you record this age, name, you'll be given a mark. Age, you'll be given a mark. Then there is also um, file number, you'll be given a mark. There's, there's date of admission, you'll be given a mark. Now what hasn't, what hasn't been put here is diagnosis. So some scenarios will have diagnosis, okay, which will be maybe head injury. Okay, so for you, you need to copy it and put there and say diagnosis and say head injury when you fill in all these details you'll be getting a mark from the examiner this will be a mark that will be a mark that will be a mark diagnosis will be a mark date and time will be marked so all these are free marks which you just need to copy from the scenario and fill in this okay so that you earn marks so now let's start we're going to start with uh, this comma scale which is just Eye opening, 
best verbal response and best motor response. So these three are the ones that you just need to fill up. And this will take less than a minute. So you have to just fill in this and then see what you get. So you can't mark or tick all of them. The patient cannot have all these say, spontaneous to speech to pain to none, meaning eye opening. You can't tick all of them. You have to tick what's appropriate, only what the patient has given you or what the patient has responded. Then best verbal, you also just tick one out of one, two, three, four, five. Just tick one according to what the patient has given you or what the patient has how the patient has responded. Best motor as well, you can't tick all of them because the patient should just give you one out of all these. So let's see how we're going to tick. Okay, so for eye opening, what you do, you follow this. When you just come in, the patient, uh, if the patient opens the eyes, meaning you should be able to tick on spontaneous. Now, the patient, I'm here, the patient doesn't open eyes. So I'm not going to tick anything on spontaneous. Now, let me go to speech. I try. Maya. Maya. So, Maya, according to speech, Maya has not opened up the eyes. So, meaning I'm not going to also tick here on speech. So, this is 11 hours. I'm not going to tick here on speech. Then I go to pen. I see pen should be, none should be one. Pen, two, three, four. So, this is fourth score. So, then let me try to pen. Because speech, I called his name, not not answering. I came in, not opening eyes. Now let's let me see to pen. So I need to go to the ear lobe there and pinch. As you can see, his eyes are up. His eyes are open. So what you need to do is you tick. Okay. So this is the tick here. Or some people say you just put a dot. You can put a dot like this. Okay. So meaning that. You know that this is score number two because this is one, this is number two, this is score three, this is score four. So this is score two. Okay, one is there, two is there. Okay, so we have moved away from eye opening because he opened his eyes to pen. Now I have to go to best verbal to see. So he has scored two on eye opening. Okay, so you can even put there eye opening, he has scored two. Then now what about um Best verbal. What about V? What V is called? So, I need to go on orientation first. Maya, what is your name? Or what is your name? Just simply say, what is your name? Richard. So, he is not... Uh, so, according to the name, he said Richard. So, uh, you need to go to another thing now to ask. So, meaning that's not his name. Um, Where is this? Or where are you? Hotel. You see, he's not still oriented, saying hotel, it's, it's a hospital. What time is it? Evening. Evening. So meaning that I'm not going to... He has given me that. Now, if you look at this, this cause, he's not oriented because he's not saying the, his correct name. He hasn't given me the correct place. He hasn't given me the correct time. He has given me something else. So meaning I'm not going to tick on oriented. Then, on confused... That's where I would tick because he's able to speak correctly or fluently, but he's not giving me correct things. So meaning he's not oriented. Then inappropriate words, unless someone um, is giving words, like telling you stories which are not even connected. But then he's able to understand that I'm asking about the name. So he's given me a name. So meaning those are just, just a little bit confused. Incomprehensible sounds are those sounds you can't even uh, appreciate or get. Then none if you didn't say anything. So one, two, three, four, five. So it was here on confused. So just put a dot on confused. Okay. So meaning that's his score. So meaning he has scored four. So on verbal, he has scored four. You put. Then what about motor? So you need to also see on motor. So uh, best motor, you need to go on obeying commands. Obeying commands meaning that you should be able to... Um, Say, okay, lift up your leg or right leg or right arm, you lift it up, meaning that when he lifts up the arm, which I've said, lift up this limb, he does the lifting, meaning that is obeying commands. So let's see, this score is from one, two, three, four, five, six, then seven. Okay, it's supposed to be six, one, two, three, uh, yeah, three. 
four then it's supposed to be six so one was a mistake so this is six okay yeah so this is six so i'm going to say one which is none two extension of normal then the four five then six okay so uh, this is not supposed to be here okay so some grass comma score charts won't have this one some will have this one but this is this should be up to six okay so now let's try to ask maya maya lift up your upper limb your right upper limb or your right arm you see is, is not really lifting it up so i mean i'm not going to take here then i'm going to go to localizing pen to see if i pinch so meaning that after pinching as you can see is able to uh, hit where I'm pinching meaning that is able to feel the pen is coming from there and the pen is there so meaning that is able to localize pen which are going to give a score of five okay I'm going to just tick there we are saying localizing pen okay so if he was uh, doing abnormal flexion abnormal extension or none would have done or would have ticked any of those but then he's giving me that which is a five so he has given five for best motor so if you add this so we're going to just say gcs meaning that we're going to add these here so five plus four this gives us a nine nine plus two gives us eleven so it should be eleven over fifteen because glass coma scale will be out of fifteen this is a six this is a, a four this is a a five okay so this should be six plus five this is uh, should be 11 11 plus 4 is 15 so it should give us 11 over 15 okay so it's out of 15 so 11 over 15 so this is the glass of commerce cup okay so this is uh, what you're going to report to the examiner so at the moment you're, go you're going to say to the patient that thank you very much Maya for allowing me to do this procedure I was doing this procedure so that I assess how awake you are, okay, so that we see how, we, how best we can also help you, okay. So thank you very much, and uh, if there's anything, you can call upon the nurses or you can call me so that I attend to you. So even now, go to the examiner and say that my examiner have done an assessment on Maya, and uh, eye opening is two, okay. On verbal response, he scored four. On motor response, he scored a five. Then the total grasp of comma scale is 11 over 15. This is what you just report to, to the examiner. This is your report, meaning you even leave it to the examiner. Then afterwards, you even wash hands. So this is how it is, and you're supposed to really go on and on. Even in ICU, you can try to practice this procedure. You can practice it in the skills lab. And if you go to maybe even medical wards or um, even surgical wards, you'd find people who are unconscious. You can try to practice the procedure so that at least you will be able to get something. Things will stick on your mind. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to Mr. Coco Nessus Glass for more videos. Thank you.